There was once 300 of us. Yet I am the only one who remains. I will finish what we started, brothers. I will rid this wretched world of evil and return to our sons as mothers. To the true heir. I will follow the path of victory and glory because this. This is Sparta! But first, I'm going to need to get accustomed to my surroundings, as beginning in the world of Lothric, I had nothing to my name but two swords. Although, that was more than enough to demolish my first fall. Now, as a Spartan, I feel as though I should earn my place as the best warrior in the land of Lothric. Therefore, after every battle, I'll be upgrading a piece of my equipment, starting with lighting the very first bonfire and traveling to the high wall of Lothric. This is where I had to farm these enemies over and over and over, hitting them with a This is Sparta! to grab the iron shield. That only took a full goddamn hour, but boy does it look cool, so I'll just go fuck myself. Or I could take my frustrations out on a boss in the same area, Bot. All right, Vought, my boy. Let's see what you got. The first proper fight of Dark Souls 3. If you want to call a fat version of Malekith a proper fight, that is. If anything, he deserves some praise. He walked so Malekith could run. Paved the way to one of the best fights in Elden Ring. And best of all, my boy is more caked up than the factory. Yeah, damn. No! My hitless! You will pay, you oversized teddy bear! GG's! Pretty good start. Not a single flask used. I now felt I was worthy of wearing a cape, and our build is slowly coming together. But don't you think for a second, there isn't some crazy items we're gonna get later on. I mean, we don't even have the helmet yet. But first, after meeting a kind old woman, who's definitely not going to be a problem later on, she told me of where I might find the Lords of Cinders. Unkindled one. I am Emma, High Priestess of Lothric Castle. Allow me to speak frankly. You will not find the Lords of Cinder here. They have left, gone, to their journey homes converging at the base of this castle. Head to the bottom of the high wall. Forge on through the great gate and raise this banner to proceed. And she was right. By making it to Farron Keep by following her guidance, I came across the first of five lords, the Abyss Watchers. Ugh. 
My god, he's been aura maxing. And that's enough of that. <laughs> I don't even know what it means, but boy does it sound funny. I've officially achieved unk status. Speaking of unk, he's already called in for backup. He can't handle the sauce. Absolutely melting him so far. Yes, he has been betrayed, you fool. Look at that, the stun lock. Nice and easy phase one. Now we get into the real fight. Ah, shit. Here we go again. Oh, and we locked in, baby. So far, I've done everything with the starting weapon, and I think it's about time that changed. The real weapon of a true Spartan, the Valohart Sword. This meant I had to travel to the Cathedral of the Deep, speak to Gale. That arch is crazy. And enter the painting, to conquer the ashes of Aryan death. And then the ashes were too. <laughs> Into the first DLC at level 30, I felt more of place than a broken bone. Oh brother, this guy stinks! Okay, fine. I felt more of place than a politician telling the truth. Better? I mean, it's alright, like... But this is where our weapon lied. Behind the boss that is the champion's grave tender. I hope he's ready to tend his own grave, because I'm about to put him six feet under. I have a plan. The old bait and kick. Now some might call this cheese, but not me. I call this big brain, baby. In all fairness, my guy spawns three wolves, and on top of that a separate wolf boss, so... If you think I'm fighting him hand to hand, with half armor, no rings, and no weapon levels, you're out of your goddamn mind. Hello, it is I from the future. Future! After dying a couple of extra times to the boss, I decided enough was enough. As he summons a second boss halfway through his phase, I decided to add an extra Spartan to make it a two versus two. Now this is what I did, but unfortunately looking back at the footage, the entire thing looks like this. So you're gonna have to trust me on this one, but yes, we beat the boss to unlock our new weapon. And whilst I was in the DLC, it only felt right to take on the hardest boss of Dark Souls 3. I will snuff out these ashes for good. But if you think I'm going through the pain of doing that as I am, then f*** you. I need to prepare. As I still haven't claimed anything from the Abyss Watchers fight, I decided to grab the Life Ring, which raises my max HP. 
I then decided if I wanted to continue, I was going to need large titanite shards to upgrade my weapon. So I went back to the old woman, shanked her in the face, Welcome to London, motherfucker! and started the fight against the dancer of the Boreal Valley. This is a really good boss fight, so if my PC corrupts again, I will personally RKO it out the window. Take this. This boss has a very similar aesthetic to Rolana, but I think I prefer this fight just a little more. The way her moves are telegraphed, and how smoothly you can dodge with her to get a clean fight, oh, just does something to me, you know? It's, it's like when you find a cool looking stick on the ground. You have no need for it, but you're still taking it home with you. It's a hell yeah moment. That's exactly how I feel when I fight this boss. Chat, am I cooked? No! Gah, it is always the stupid ass moves that ruin my hit less. Gah, every goddamn time. I can avoid that, but Big Puddle gets me. Unbelievable. GG's! Superman punched her ass to finish it off. Now the gatekeeper was out the way, I could get where I came for. Big rocks. Yes! Hell yeah! But for some reason, these knights were holding them. So I just kindly asked them to give the rocks back. Anyway, after a quick chat with my wife, Welcome home, Russian one. Yes, I'm delusional. I leveled up my health, upgraded my weapon, and was finally still not ready to take on Sister Freed. She has mentally scarred me since I last played, and just like guys who were into goth girls, also me by the way, I'm not quite ready to face my problems yet. This led me down a new path, through Irithyll of the Boreal Valley. Would you... Just look at that view. Into the church to face Pontiff Sullivan. Now I've changed back to the old sword and shield just for this fight because, well, parry. Turns one of the big bads of this game into child's play. And all you have to do is press one button. The power of knowledge. Oh, get out! <laughs> I think the walk to the boss took longer than the boss itself. Hack and slash away, boys. That's how it's done. We now have some boss tokens to claim, baby. I picked up the brass leggings and greaves for the Boreal Valley boss. Pontiff's left eye ring for the Pontiff fight, and his right eye ring for Deacons of the Deep. Oh, I didn't show because, well, it's Deacons of the Deep. What the fuck is this piece of shit? And finally, we were looking more like a true Spartan. 
So let us continue to our next Soul of Cinder by going through Irithyll Dungeon. I've said it once and I'll say it again. Irithyll Dungeon is the equivalent of AIDS in a video game. This place is harder to escape than the Alcatraz prison. Are you serious right now, bro? There are so many rats in this place. You'd think this is where the Black Plague originated. On top of that, you have enemies that first of all brand you like OnlyFans girls on Twitter. Pussy in bio, by the way. But then continue to suck your health dry like Ubisoft your wallet. With their quadruple A games. My god, when will they learn? And what do we get in return for going through this cock and ball torture, you might ask? A gimmick boss. I want to kill my- But alas, now we have a lineup of incredible bosses. And you're not my therapist, so let's start cooking. The first on the list, Dragon Slayer Ammo. Alright, let me start a war real quick. Is it pronounced Dragon Slayer Ammo? Or Dragon Slayer Armor? Because to me, they both sound wrong. <laughs> I'm either severely overthinking his name, or I can't read. Probably both. My God, oh, you monster. My hitless run was right there. I could see the finish line. Oh, it's all tits up now. Dragon Slayer crushed my hopes and dreams. Has been defeated. This gave me the perfect opportunity to grab the final two weapons of the run. The Partisan Spear and the Eastern Iron Shield to mimic that really cool power stance thing they do. The four who was about to face this unstoppable force, Aldrich Devourer of Gods. He has a shiny tip, so so do I. We've come in with a lightning spear, baby. And that is probably the worst RNG move we can get off bat. Oh god. But look at the damage, boys. A little spin as well. We're finally starting to live up to the strengths of a Spartan. It's only taken us like 70% of the game. <laughs> That's it. You run, coward. Devourer of gods in his name. Devour these nuts, bitch. GG's! And now we just had one more cinder to collect. Ah, unkindled one. The fire fades and awaits its one last reward. But I think I've blue balled you enough. So after picking up the Faram Helm, completing our build, I headed back into the snowfield to face Sister Free. Is only the flame quivering at misguided ash. Please avert thine eyes. I will snuff out these ashes for good.
fight for a warm, eager ash. Should this world wither and rot, even then would Ariandel remain our own. Leave us be, Ashen One. Sweep all thought of us from thy mind, as thy kind always have. Oh my god! We pop this and we take a lie down. Just gotta mentally prepare myself for what comes next. That's what I'm talking about, baby. What a fight, man. This game has some heavy hitters. You know, initially I wasn't going to show this fight, but it just felt wrong to show Freed and not the Nameless King. He is supposed to be the hardest boss in base game Dark Souls 3, after all. That's if I can get to him. Goddamn oversized chicken in the way. Whoever was on cinematic duty of this game, cooked. Like, did you have to make them all so good? I want to show everyone, goddammit. Also, we are off to a magnificent start. And it just gets worse. If we were in a prison, I'd be holding his pocket. He is just absolutely wailing on me. Feel like I got my legs swinging side to side, just twirling my hair while he beats the shit out of me. God damn it, I gotta lock in. Okay. Just had to take the control off my retarded alter ego real quick. It's fine. We're back now. And that's what I was looking for. We are so back. You had me worried for a hot second. was a valiant effort. Be proud, my friend. You've definitely earned the right of hardest boss in the base game. At last, we can continue on with our mission. The final ember to grant us passage to the ultimate bonfire. Prince Lorien and his brother. <laughs> Island boys looking at.
Nicely done. Phase two, come on. I was now ready to put an end to my story. I lit the thrones to become the true heir and was blessed by the Firekeeper. Let him grant death to the old gods of Lordran, deliverers of the first flame. Children! Gather up! No retreat, no surrender. That is Spartan law. And by Spartan law, we will stand and fight! On. An idea for which you will give up all that you will ever have. You need only to look at the man who fights at your side. This is the why of battle. This is the brotherhood of men at arms. An unbreakable bond made stronger by the crucible of combat. You will never be closer than with those who you shed your blood with. For there is no nobler cause than to fight for those who will lay down their life for you. But you fight strong today. You fight for your brothers. Fight for your families. Most of all, you fight for Greece! But I have bamboozled you. This is not the end. I still had a family to return to. She's been unalived. What the fuck? I only left for five minutes. I was now just a nobody, at the end of the world, with nothing but my Your dark soul, for my lady's painting. If you thought I'd make a Dark Souls 3 video without including Gale, you were mistaken. The best boss FromSoft have ever created behind an insane DLC. Seriously, I wanted to include so much more from the Ring City, but I was so locked in and immersed, I didn't say a word for about two hours. <laughs> they couldn't have made a better boss to end the Dark Souls trilogy. So I'm gonna thank you for watching now, because I just want you to sit back, relax, and experience the best boss throughout Dark Souls. <laughs>